You know, I was just chatting to the camera for like five minutes and it wasn't on. It's Sunday morning. It is 10.33 and I've already done my daily social media stuff. Um, got some stuff down here. Um, ready this week to work on finalizing some artwork for my sister's business. And we're headed out to a family function today. I'm sort of thinking I should maybe sit at the dining room table and do tonight's daily drawings now before we leave. We have like an hour and a half before we need to leave. So I don't know what time we're gonna get home. It's probably gonna be late, like 10 o'clock or later. I am not gonna feel like drawing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do them now, so I'll be back. Monday morning, April 29th, I think. I got no idea what time it is. <sighs> 8 a.m. maybe, maybe just before 8 a.m. I've got a lot of stuff to do this morning before lunch. Um, cleaning lady is coming at lunch. And I've got errands to run, uh, order of blank canvas to pick up at Michael's. Etsy orders to fill, package, and ship. Not to mention um, social media, which we're gonna hopefully take care of social media and Etsy right now. I'll be okay, back. Okay, it's 8.46 a.m. and I got social media done. I got the Etsy orders packed and shipped. I got some things printed that need to be, needed to be printed, some things picked up off the floor that needed to be picked up off the floor. Um, Oh, and all the video for last week's vlog airdropped to my desktop. I'm going to quickly sort laundry before I leave, and then we're going to go run our errands. We need to be back here before 11.30, so cross your fingers. So I got the donations dropped off and the mail also, the, all the Etsy orders. I forgot there's a good Goodwill drop-off station right next to where I drop off the Etsy orders. So I did that and got a receipt, and then now we're going to head over to Michael's and then Fred Meyer. We should be able to get home like by 11, hopefully. 
which gives me time to just sit and breathe, maybe start a load of laundry before Letty comes. Um, that's the name of my lady who helps me keep the house clean. And um, yeah, then I've got stuff to do at the computer. I've got to edit last week's vlog and I've got to edit a bunch of other videotape. And so yeah, we'll get it done. All right, so it's 9.56. Well, my phone says 9.57, the car says 9.56. I don't know, it's just before 10 a.m. And I'm just leaving Fred Meyer. We got it all done, I think. Unless I've forgotten to do something, which is always possible. Um, but yeah, some of the canvases are almost bigger than I am, but they're in the back of the car. I put the back seat down so they're flat. We're gonna go home now and unload the car and start some laundry. And all I've had this morning is a banana with my coffee, so I need to have a little bit more to eat. And then wait for Letty to come. Maybe get some video edited while I'm waiting. Maybe. All right, that's it, I'll be back. Good morning, it's Tuesday morning, April 30th. It's 7.35 a.m. Don't get excited, hello iPad. I'm watching Shell C's vlog. Um, which came out this morning and yeah pretty interesting uh, listening to her and watching I don't know if I've mentioned before but when I was rearranging the game room and moving some of the books and shelving and stuff upstairs and helping my husband get furniture upstairs uh, I aggravated my tendonitis in my knee and so yeah that's a thing so I'm sitting down here on the couch I've got my leg propped up on a stool I smell like a combination of Bengay and toothpaste because I'm using doTERRA's deep blue on my knee. Not sponsored. This video is not sponsored. Um, I'm just a lover of doTERRA essential oils and products, so eh, FYI. Um, so anyway, so I'll be taking it easy today. I got a lot of steps in yesterday, running around and doing a lot of errands and going up and down the stairs because I was editing video. and. Uh, my knee had started to calm down and then it was aggravated again, so <laughs> I'll be, I have some work to do for my sister's um, logo for her new business, so I need to do that, but I can do that from downstairs and I have all the stuff down here to do that, so I think I'll be downstairs most of the day and just trying to stay off my knee. Anyway, that's a thing. All right, I'll be Nothing back. like talking to yourself for like two minutes and then realizing the camera's not on. <laughs> It's bad enough I do what I do and I spend a lot of time talking to a camera. It's, you know, when the camera's not even on and you think it is, it's another story. Anyway, <laughs> I'm on the sofa. I'm taking it easy on my knee. Um, as I said earlier, I did aggravate my knee, kneeling on the tile and moving furniture and stuff around. Um, I have tendonitis in all my joints and arthritis, so, you know, it's, it's sore. It's been a couple days, but it's still sore because I haven't been resting it. So uh, today is like I'm resting the knee. I have some black and white line work. That's all I can show you. Um, that I'm doing for my sister's business and um, I have to get that done. So, and it's a sit down job. So I'll just do that while I'm here on the sofa. Um, I did want to tell you all. Um, so when I do black and white work, uh, most of us like the Uniball Signo Broad. Um, yes, the Uniball Signo does come in two tip nib sizes. Uh, one is referred to as Uniball Signo Broad, which is this one, the bigger tip. And then there's an Angelic, which is a fine tip, which I have and is okay. I prefer this one. Um, and this is the Japanese one with the gold band around right here. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. There is something different about the American version versus the Japanese version of Uniball Signo. I don't know what the difference in the formula is or something, but this is a better pen. You can get them at Amazon. I'll put the link below. Um, I also, when I'm doing a project like this, which is all line work, and I know it's going to be scanned later, not all black ink is equal, and there are different colors of black ink. So when I'm doing a project like this, I like to use a pen um, that um, th is all the same brand with the same color ink, but comes in different nib sizes. So my preference is the Orthographic liners. I get them from Jet Pens, generally. 
Um, I usually use the 10 and the 05, which I have in my hand, which I've been using this morning. Um, they also have a 01 and a 03, which I have. And I have out just in case. Um, that's my preference. And fun fact, all of the first designs for my rubber stamp line um, were all done with these pens on paper and scanned. Um, these days, they're usually done in some kind of drawing app. Um, not always, um, but usually. Um, but every now and then, it's nice to get back to just pen and paper, you know? So I'm going to be working on that this morning and getting that done so she can get um, uh, that on the road. She needs to have the artwork for her website and um, business cards and all of that stuff. So anyway, I better get my button gear. I'll hey be guys, back. guys, it is Wednesday, May 1st. It is after lunch already. I don't know what time it is. Yeah, I don't know. But I know it's after lunch or around lunch. Um, I spent the morning doing the social media thing and catching up on bookkeeping. I hadn't done um, our business book since January, so yeah. I had to do some year uh, lifetime expenses stuff on the new house, which I did, catching up that spreadsheet, and then uh, I got another coat of resin on a tumbler I'm working on and chatted with some friends while I was doing all of that. And then I told them, you know, I got to go. I got to run some errands. My knee is still kind of bothering me a little bit. I'm putting some doTERRA on it continually. It's feeling better. I'm taking it easy on it. Um, I do have a walking stick or cane if I need it uh, at the house. Um, but right now I'm out running errands. I'm going to pick up a couple things. I think a Dollar Tree. I need to set up something in the art room so I can work on large canvas and short of setting up something in the garage or setting up something in one of the spare rooms, I think I might have found a solution maybe if I can find the right parts. It works in my head anyway. That doesn't mean it's going to work in reality, but we'll find out. Um, I also need to pick up a few things at Target um, or Walmart or something. So we're going to do all that today and I'll be back. Anyway, can you see that behind me? Uh, those are three big canvases. They're 36 inches across by 48 inches high. Um, that's just a base coat of paint. I'm going to paint all three of them as a triptych. Um, inspired by the class I took from Pauline Agnew, um, the uh, expressive seascapes class, um, I'm going to do sort of an expressive, I think, landscape. Um, I think I'm going to be inspired by this one here that I did, a smaller painting. I think we're going to do something larger. This, again, this is just a background um, color, and it might have, at the end, nothing to do with the finished piece. I have no idea. We'll see where I go. But I have a big space that I want to put these three canvases on, and I'll show you. There, that's my, my living room. TV. And we have this big wall. It is a big wall, big empty space. It does have two outlets. I'm thinking the old owners had art or something displayed there. Um, they were hunters and I have a horrible suspicion they maybe had some of their animal trophies up there. We have had the house uh, blessed and cleared, thank goodness, because that's not really okay with me. Um, but anyway, that all being said, I think it is a great spot to hang these three big canvases um, up here. I'll have to hire somebody to hang them because, yeah, I'm not getting up there. Uh, I'm not having my husband do that either. Um, but anyway, I'm going to paint them to go up there. I want to use some of the greens so that they go with what the colors in the room. We also have some sort of, can you see, I don't know if you can see that down there, oceany blue colors. And then, of course, the browns from the stone in the wood and the floor at the furniture. So we are going to get those three done and over the next um, few uh, weeks, you will see me hopefully working on those. Um, I don't want to take too long to do them because those canvases are going to be completely, completely in my But work. I like my solution of having a temporary painting station right here. At least for the moment, that will work. I don't generally work on canvas that big, and if I end up doing a lot of these, that's not going to be a permanent solution. We'll have to find something else. Um, but for right now, it works just fine. Um, I have some resin drying. I'm working on another tumbler. It's spinning. 
I did take some of the leftover resin and I made, I used one of my little new molds from Value Village and made some little sort of glitter resin cubes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but we'll figure it out. And um, yeah. I'm gonna go downstairs and rest my knee now and um, take it easy, have some water, watch my soap opera. I haven't done that yet. And yeah, I'll be Morning. back. Morning. It's Thursday, May 2nd, just before 10 a.m. I only know that because I've been at the computer for a while and working on some resin stuff and putting the last coat on the glitter tumbler I'm working on and yeah, that sort of thing. I have my grocery shopping list. I have to go back to the store because evidently I forgot some stuff yesterday. And we're having people over tomorrow and Sunday, which I didn't know we were barbecuing until last night. And so yeah, I didn't get any meat to barbecue, so that's a thing. So I'm gonna head back to the store. I think I better change my clothes first though because I'm still in my pajamas. That won't work. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it's about 10.30 and I obviously just got out of the shower. I'm dressed. We're gonna head out to the store. I've gotta pick up a couple things at Michael's and then do grocery shopping again. Two days in a row is just not fair. <laughs> um, anyway, hopefully we can get it all been and done and be back by lunchtime, maybe? I don't know, we'll try. I'll be back. Friday morning, May 3rd, 8, 12 a.m. Don't get excited. Hello, computer. Um, so yeah, so we're having um, an interesting start to the morning. Um, the resin tumbler I was working on is done, and so we'll be getting an address to send that off to our friend, and um, we're expecting my mom and dad to come up. Uh, I'm sorry, come down, because they live north of us. <laughs> and dad's gonna be helping Bob with some DIY. Bob took the day off of work. And mom needs me to go help her get some fabric um, at Joanne's for a project for our, um, her great-grandchild, the great-grandson that's gonna be born in September, my great-nephew nephew I'm his I'm her his mom's aunt so I'll be his great aunt something anyway I can't get it straight anyway he'll be born in September so she wants my help getting the fabric for him and um, we have concrete contractors coming by today to look at the concrete and give us some ideas of what can be done I think we finally found a couple that can help us and are willing to <laughs> well of course we'll pay them but you know um, and the work on the outside of the house with the painting and electrical starts tomorrow so it's gonna be a busy busy weekend um, we are barbecuing with my parents later today and before they go home and then the kids are of course coming over Sunday uh, with their friend Gunjin um, and we're gonna be barbecuing with them again and um, they'll be watching Game of Thrones uh, you know, I don't really get Game of Thrones, but okay. Uh, anyway, that's all that's going on for the moment. I am going to need to make a trip to the art supply store because I'm going to need more slow dry medium. I'm going to need a couple of other colors in acrylic paint in large sizes for these big, huge canvases I'm working on. I was able to, with a coupon, pick up these huge containers of Liquitex Basics. Um, which is a brand of paint I like working with. I like Liquitex Basics and I like, of course, Golden. 
acrylics. Um, those are my two favorite brands. I do have some Amsterdam acrylics, which I also like certain colors of their paint. So, um, but I'm going to need, you know, those canvases are big and one tube like this is not going to go far. Um, that being said, I'm going to be using up some of the older paints that I have here. Um, it's not going to be enough to do these big canvases. So we're going to need more things like this. <laughs> so I'll need be needing to make a trip to Blick at some point soon. I also need a paint tube opener. There's something made by Golden called a Golden Gripper, and it's for opening paint tube caps, which I have a difficult time with, especially the golden ones. Hello. Um, you've got to get out the pliers sometimes and a rag, and yeah, you all know if you've tried to open them, or worse yet, the little watercolor tube caps. You all know what I mean. Um, but Golden evidently makes a cap opener thing tool. So I'm going to see if Blick has one first in stock at the store before I order it, but I'm hoping they do. I will link it in the description below for you all. Um, Cheap Joe's does have them in stock. Jerry Zargarama doesn't have them in stock until June. So, But I'll, link, I'll put some links in the description below. That's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, April. No. May 4th, holy cow. May 4th, the computer says it's 7.59 a.m. And evidently I forgot my password. Let's see. There we go. Um, yesterday, uh, Friday, my parents came down. Uh, they live about two, two and a half hours away. Um, Bob had the day off, so Bob and my dad um, did a few small DIY projects around the house and also uh, Dad went with Bob and got some new patio furniture for the backyard We don't have a truck, but my dad has a huge truck. So um, they had to go to a couple different Stores to get all the pieces that we needed because no one store of course had everything in stock But anyway, that's done today Supposedly construction starts on the outside of the house. We're going to be replacing the light fixtures outside and There's some carpentry involved with that. We're having the house repainted and there is some uh, Raw natural wood on the outside of the house on the trim and we're having that um, cleaned and, and resealed and uh, yeah, we've got a few other projects lined up with the contractor who's doing that. So um, I don't know if Bob's talking to him about those today or not. And then we got an estimate yesterday on concrete refinishing and recoloring the concrete, which is all black. So our house outside is got a black driveway, <laughs> black back patio. The house is um, a very story but cottagey in decor but the body of the house is painted this super dark blue gray color and the trim on the house is black and the front door is red which I like but it's like a blood red yeah so um, we're repainting and coloring the house it's going to be a light sandy color with a green a light, sort of a medium green trim the front door and the back doors will still be red, but they're going to be a warmer, uh, more on the yellowy, orangey side of red. red. Um, and we're replacing the light fixtures, which are just not my taste and don't look like anything else in the neighborhood. <laughs> so um, we're replacing all of those too. And one of the light fixtures anyway has a cracked piece of glass anyway, so... It's going to need to be replaced at some point. So we're doing all of that. Busy, busy, busy. Right now I am just trying to get on my computer so I can do the social media thing. I might do some more work on the big canvases behind me today. I do have a color of paint I want to mix up and I'm doing a lot of mixing my own colors using what I have. When I have to buy more paint because these canvases are really big, I'm going to be buying basic colors and mixing what I want from the basics. So meaning um, I'll be buying, of course, black and white, um, ultramarine blue, a yellow, and a red. And going from there and mixing what I want from there. Um, and using up some of the older art 
paints that I have that have been sitting for a while. I have an old original tube of cobalt teal from Golden <laughs> that they stopped making for a while. So this is before they stopped making it. I, I understand they have it back now, but anyway. I'm going to use that up well before it dries up in the tube. I do think I'm going to go to Blick next week. I'm going to need to get some more slow dry medium and I was only able to get like blue and black and white at um, Michael's. Anyway, that's it for the moment. I need to finish my coffee uh, before the contractors get here and um, I guess as long as we're not going to be in their way, we're taking patio furniture around to the backyard and putting that together today, maybe. I don't think I can get out of helping with that, so. Anyway, I'll be back. I want to say to you all out there who are trying to or want to join my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, you're welcome to join. You do need to answer the admission questions. If you don't answer the admission questions, you probably aren't going to get in. Not unless we have some other groups or people in common. So answer the questions, please. All right, I'll be back. guys it is late in the evening on Saturday it has been a crazy week the husband left the side door unlocked so I'm checking all the doors 
He spent the afternoon putting our new patio chairs together. Well, at least two of them. We've got two more chairs and a table to put together, but we're taking our time because we can't really put them outside until after the house is painted. So anyways, so we did that. I got some more painting done on the big canvases. We were babysitting, or babysitting, puppy sitting Lily, y'all know what I mean. And uh, so anyway, it's been a crazy day. We met with the contractors uh, to go over things. Work starts on Monday. We're having stuff done outside. I've got um, stuff in here that needs to be mailed out. I've got this packet of, um, hang on, the TV's on. I've got this packet of family paperwork and photos that evidently landed at one of my niece's houses from my mom and my mom doesn't want it back and that's a whole other conversation I don't I don't know but <laughs> oh my god you guys so I know I've said before whether anybody was listening I don't know but I grew up um, in a Roman Catholic household I went to Catholic school uh, resurrection uh, school in Sunnyvale California and here you go <laughs> There, there's me. Uh, there's nothing on the back of it, but I'd guess about second grade, maybe first grade. So yeah, there's a bunch of interesting things like that in there. So I'm gonna have to sort through it and find something a little better to keep it in than this, and it'll go in the game room with the other family photos and stuff. And uh, yeah, so anyway, it's been a fun, albeit busy week. And uh, next week will be more of the same. That's all right. I like to be busy. I hope you've had a great week. Um, we've had a good week. And um, yeah, I, w I wish everybody all the best. There's a lot of people out there. I know friends and family who are struggling with different issues, some health issues, some financial issues. Some things are really, really bad. And I my thoughts are with all of you. Um, I'm not going to say more than that, so please don't ask. Um, but I will say that there's a lot of, um, you know, craziness out there in the world. So let's try to just be kind when we can. I've gotten a lot of comments in the last two weeks, as has my husband and my parents, I guess, <coughs> on uh, my merch shirt, Be a Decent Human. We all get funny crack up remarks about the other one that says, don't be an asshole. Uh, but the Be a Decent Human, we've got a lot of interesting comments about um, in, just in the last week, more than normal. And we're not wearing the shirts more than we normally do. So uh, I says something about the state of the world at the moment, maybe. Um, anyway, if you're interested in merch or following me on social media, um, supporting the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook... Um, joining my art group, a life of art and a life of art and self expression, or the teaching group, my creative year that I do with my friends, um, or any of that stuff, you can click on my link tree list of links, and you'll find all the links to all that stuff there. Um, my happy mail address is in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you will, and I will put any relevant links in the description below. And that's about it this week, I think. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.